Hello, Yogi Pool family, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about hibernation. So make sure you find a nice cozy spot and let's get started together. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a bear named Maya. So let's go to bear pose. We're going to stand up, bring our legs out wide, holding onto her ankles, and we're going to walk like a bear. Boom. 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 And Maya was like most bears, and come winter time, she did something. Do you know what bears do in the winter? They hibernate. Let's go to hibernation pose. Coming to sit on her ankles into child's pose. And Maya went to hibernation like most bears do in the winter. But all of a sudden, she woke up in the middle of winter. And she looked around her den and she was so bored. This is bored pose. So what did Maya decide to do? She decided to go to her friend, Lily the Bat's house. So going back to bear pose, we're gonna go to Lily the Bat's house. Oh, boom, 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 boom. And as Maya got to Lily the Bat's house, she looked around and she didn't see Lily. And she looked up in the cave. We're gonna grab our elbows, lean forward, for upside down bat pose. But Lily was hibernating too. So let's go back to hibernation pose. And Lily the bat was fast asleep. So Maya the bear was like, I'm so bored. So what did she do? She went to go visit her friend, Eugene the bee. So opening up her legs again for bear pose. Boom, 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 boom. And when she got to the hive, she looked everywhere. She's like, Eugene, Eugene. But coming down onto her feet, bringing the, her bottoms, bringing the bottoms of her feet together, putting her hands on her shoulders like a little bee. Buzz. But Eugene the bee was hibernating. So let's go back to hibernation pose. Oh. And Maya was so bored. So she went on another adventure. And this time she went to go see Sam the snake. Boom, 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 boom. And when she got to Sam the snake's house, so lifting up our belly for snake pose, Sam was nowhere to be found because he was also hibernating. And Maya was so bored. So she had one more idea. She wanted to go see Sanjay the snail. Sanjay the snail was a slow kind of fella and she knew he would be awake. So going back to Maya the bear pose, boom, boom, boom. But Sanjay the snail was nowhere to be found because Sanjay the snail was hibernating. <sighs> and Sanjay was fast asleep. And Maya the bear was so bored. So she had enough of this. She decided to go back to her den. So coming back to Maya the bear pose, boom, boom, boom. Oh, Maya saw a little snack and kept going to her den. Boom, boom. Boom. And then Maya got to her den. And she sat in her chair, coming to chair pose. She kind of looked around. And then she looked out her window, coming up onto her knees. She looked out of her window. And she was so bored. And then she even tried to lay down and maybe go back into hibernation but she couldn't fall asleep. And she was so bored. And she tossed and turned, rolling from one side to the other. And she just couldn't fall asleep. She was so bored. And then she saw something on the shelf in her den. It was a book. 
So coming onto our bottoms, lifting up our legs, holding a book in front, and she started to read a couple pages and then read a few more and a few more. And then she was so inspired by her book that she wanted to write into her journal. So opening up our legs wide, reaching up high for our journal on the shelf, bringing it down in front of us. And Maya the bear wrote a beautiful bear poem. And then her hands couldn't stop moving. So she decided to paint a beautiful picture. Coming onto her knees, sitting up high and reaching high and painting a beautiful picture and twisting all the way to one side and twisting all the way to the other side and twisting and twisting. And she painted a beautiful masterpiece. And then her hands didn't want to stop yet again. So she decided to build a Lego castle, bringing our legs out wide and stacking the Legos. Doom, doom, doom. reaching up as high as we can. And then Maya was like, wow, I'm really tired. And I kind of just want to relax a little bit. So she sat there for a second. And then she decided to do a little yoga. So going to the top of our mats, we're going to do a sun salutation, bear style, reaching up high, touching down low, boom, boom, stepping back, boom. Stepping back again, boom. Coming down into our bellies, boom. Lifting up, oh. Tucking our toes, lifting our hips, and jumping forward, boom. And standing back up. <sighs> and after doing yoga, Maya was so relaxed. And she realized how much she loved to be bored. And yeah, Maya was getting pretty sleepy. So she got in her cozy den bed. So laying on our backs with our bellies up, hands on our belly. And Maya sat in her bed with her eyes closed. <sighs> and Maya made a promise to herself this winter. She promised that she would never look at being bored as a bad thing ever again. She loved to be bored. Maya wrote a poem and she read a book she's been wanting to read for so long. And she even painted a beautiful picture that she can put in her den. And she built a castle with her Legos. And she even just relaxed and did yoga for a little bit. Maya loved being bored. And she realized that when all of her friends woke up for hibernation, she was going to tell them how cool being bored was. Because being bored allows us to tap into our creative selves that we might otherwise miss because it's so easy to get distracted. And with a big smile on Maya's face, she fell deep into her hibernation yet again. <sighs> Let's do three deep breaths together in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> And slowly starting to wiggle our fingers and our toes. Rolling over to one side, trying to keep our eyes shut if we can. And lifting up to a comfortable seated position. And rubbing our hands together to create heat. It's cold here in Denver right now. And putting them over our eyes. And fluttering our eyes open and slowly peeling our hands away from our face. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, stay yogiful. Namaste, namaste, namaste. Bye-bye. Hello kids, get your yoga on. Join with me, it'll be real fun.